Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to ChasingCinema.com's official YouTube channel. I am your host Jacob Toronto and today is Throwback Thursday, a day that I review an older film and today I'm going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite horror films and I'm not going to give you the name but I'm just going to hop right into it but before I do... Quickly check out yesterday's movie news video. Yesterday we talked about what's going on in the world of motion picture. You can find that link right up here in that little eye right there. If you click it, all my links will come up. Also, tomorrow, don't forget, I'll be reviewing Burnt, the new film of Bradley Cooper and Mr. James Shue by my side. I don't want you to miss that. So make sure to click those links. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hop right into this review for this week. There's a story that has found a place in the back of my head. It's a tragic tale, a story of pain and sorrow. A story of cruelty, vengeance, and blood. A story that has haunted me ever since I watched this movie. Uh, I still see the bucket of blood hanging above the stage. I see her eyes widen, and then I see the chaos that ensues. This story that I vividly remember so well is the story of a girl named Carietta White. Carietta White is a hopeless girl that is tormented on a daily basis by her fellow students and teachers, and her mother, who is obsessed with religion. She is bullied and constantly made fun of, and when she is home, her mother screams and hits her in fear that Carrie is committing sins. She is bullied and constantly made fun of, and even when she's home, her mother hits her and yells at her in fear that this young girl is committing sins all across town. Her mother, also known as Margaret White, locks her in the closet for hours just to get her to pray. However, Carietta, or better known to the world as Carrie, learns that she has a power. A special power that makes her different than anyone else. Learning to deal with her newfound power, she is pushed to the limit. When a prank at school goes too far... When this sick prank takes center stage at her school prom, Carrie finally shows the world what she's capable of doing. The tragic tale of Carietta White came from the great mind of horror novelist Stephen King. It was first published, it was his first published novel and was released in April of 1974. The book started as a short story to help King pay the bills, but once he realized it was too long to be a short, he tossed it. His wife, Tabitha King, was curious after King told her of the story, so she pulled it out of the wastebasket, read it. After reading the crumpled piece of paper, she asked him to finish it. He obliged, and it was picked up. Published by Doubleday Publishing, changing King's life forever. It was two years later. The story was turned into a poetically tragic and terrifying film. The film that was directed by Brian Del Palma became an instant classic known as Carrie. It is one of my all-time favorite horror films. It earns a top spot at one of my favorite movies because of how beautiful yet tragic it really is. This poor innocent girl is turned into a monster. Carrietta White was portrayed by actress Sissy Spacek in what probably is her most memorable performance. Spacek is defeated over and over again, until her eyes are widened and the whole world learns her name. SpaceX's performance is equally matched by Piper Laurie, who plays Carrie's mother, Margaret. Both were rightfully nominated for Academy Awards. Laurie is despicable, evil, and so tragically lost in her own mind. The two play opposites so well, Carrie hopes, and Margaret destroys that hope. De Palma used his crafted style to make this more than just a scary movie, but a gorgeous horrific tale. Using techniques such as split screen to convey chaos, one of the most famous shots in the movie is when we watch Carrie and Tommy Ross dance at prom. The camera starts spinning so quickly, quote, as they were, as if they were spinning out of control, end quote, Roger Ebert said in his review of the 1976 picture. Yet, my favorite shot of the film is of lonely Carrie White emerging from the flames of her school gym. The door is closing behind her, locking every student inside the inferno. It is the its emotion that makes this story so powerful. As Carrie is awarded prom queen, for one slight second, this girl's life stops being painful. And she's happy. And finally, we're able to cheer for her victory. However, it's only moments later when that happiness is ripped away 
and we begin flooded with hate and sadness. Carrie is simply one of the best horror films ever made. Now, as you could tell, I was reading something. That is actually an essay that I wrote called The Angel's Fiery Sword, uh, The Tragic Tale of Carrie White. Um, uh, pretty much a mix of my review of the old film, the novel I would later talk about in that essay, as well as the new Carrie movie. So I honestly think that was really good and one of my favorite things that I've ever written, so I decided to share that with you. Uh, but I think that e that easily described how I feel about this movie. Guys, this is such a powerful movie. It's not just a scary movie. It's not just a thriller. It is a very well-calculated, masterfully directed movie. Um, you know, I honestly feel like Brian De Palma doesn't get enough praise for this movie. I mean, it's a great movie. If you look it up, it's well scored. It's well, it's well received. It's well respected. But not as much as I really think it does. I mean, this movie really moves me beyond belief. It is such a tragic tale. Such a beautiful tale. Sissy Spacek is so wonderful in this movie. I also read the book. I just have a very strong connection with Carrie. And the reason why is because of how great this movie is. So if you guys have never seen it, make sure to check it out. It's a great movie. Uh, Halloween is this weekend. It's the perfect opportunity to watch it. If you have seen it, I want you to comment below and tell me if you agree or disagree with me. If you haven't seen it, go check it out and then come back and tell me what you think. Uh, because I'm dying to know what you feel. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to tune in tomorrow as it is Friday. And I'm going to be reviewing the new Bradley Cooper film, Burnt, with Mr. James Shu here on this YouTube channel. The best way to never miss a video is to hit that subscribe button right down there. Go ahead and make sure and click it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jacob Toronto, and please continue chasing cinema. But it's only moments later that all that happiness is ripped away and we be as we see her flooded with f hate and however it's only